All right, everyone. Um, I'm going to show you how to use Fighter Factory Ultimate, and I'm going to separate this tutorial into sections because uh, it is very involved. Okay. Okay. So we got Fighter Factory uh, Ultimate. Um, right here, you click on here is the definitions. This is where you set the definition file, and then over here is where you add the sprites. Now, if you have a, this is for like adding single sprites, like single images to make a sprite. Um, this, if you have like all your sprites in one image, you will use this uh, palette mode. And then animation here is where you um, take those individual files <coughs> and you put it together so you'll um, move and animate. And then you got your constants here, and then your commands, and then sound and so forth. Okay, let's let's do the definition first. Okay, so, um, w I'm gonna assume you never done this before, and that's where I'm gonna start. So we're gonna go to the your Mugen folder wherever you installed Mugen. You're gonna drill down, and this is what's inside your Mugen folder. You know, you got your characters, data, and then all these files. The only thing it, it doesn't have is a work directory, and I recommend you have a work directory. So you, we're just going to create one. So I'm going to go new. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it work. I'm going to drill down, and here you're going to create a new folder, and you call it according to whatever character you're going to be doing my character Yang so I'm going to create a folder called Yang and I'm going to draw it down to Yang and I'm going to go to where I have my uh, images this is my Yang character I'm going to go ahead and select it all copy paste and it's it's I really recommend you have a work directory. Uh, do any editing or everything in your work directory, okay? Because if you um, do it somewhere else, uh, just trust me. <laughs> it, it, okay, so if even if you have your work directory and you were working in your work directory, if when you were adding your images, and if your images were in your pictures folder and you go to your pictures folder and grab your images by using a fire factor fire fighter factory ultimate it will make your pictures folder where you grab the files your default folder and then when you think you're working in your your characters directory you're actually working your pictures it, it gets really confusing you don't if you don't trust me just try it <laughs> okay so I, I added everything in there so um, we, you don't have any files yet so what you should do is just go here file templates when AI and it'll bring you a default and I, I save this accidentally as my default so it already has yang but if you just had fighter factory ultimate for the first time it'll say player.sff it'll say player 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 okay and then you will have to change everything to your character name. This constants you would change to Yang. And this palettes ACT um, is if you have it a palette. And if you did, you would click a check mark because you want to use it. But I don't have one because all my uh, sprites are individual images. Okay. So you put your character's name, your character's display name, and your default palette order would be it would actually be zero, comma one two three four. And the only file that you don't change is this common file. And the common file is, is exactly what it says. It's a common file for all Mugen characters, as far as I know. So every Mugen character uses this common file, so you don't want to change it. 
um, and then this will be your introduction file in file and you don't have to add everything in right now you can always come back and add more stuff if you change things okay so now once you get that you're gonna go save as because this is your first time and then you go to your work directory yang and you save it as yang and it will add the def file and to make sure everything's right once you save it go ahead and open it again and then this is one thing fighter factory ultimate does is it doesn't save the constants file I, you guys saw me change this to yang.cns but when I open it back up it still says player.cns fighter factory ultimate does that I do not know why um, hopefully they, they change it but until then you have to open it up manually so go into your folder right click open I'm gonna open it with notepad plus plus this is what I use and this is the f the file that you save your def file and you find your CNS file it says player.cns well change it to yang.cns and then you save it and saved I'm gonna close it and to make sure it took you're gonna click open your def file and the constant is yang.cns and that's what you want all right it's already six minutes uh, I mean this takes forever to do uh, your own character so I'm gonna stop at that and we'll continue in another tutorial thanks